Mary and Miss Joanne here at the program room wishing you were here with me. We're going to do a story time about apples and pumpkins. And But before we start, you're going to need a scarf for some of the songs we sing. If you don't have a scarf, get your favorite t-shirt, get a tissue paper or a paper towel, anything that you can use to flutter around, to hide in your hand, anything is good. So if you don't have something like that sitting right beside you, go ahead and hit pause, go get it, come on back, set it aside, we'll be using it in a little bit. And now it's time to sing our hello song. We wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello, with our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello, with our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Slap your knees. We slap and sing hello, we slap and sing hello, with our friends at story time, we slap and sing hello. Can you roll your arms? We roll and sing hello, we roll and sing hello, with the friends at story time, we roll and sing hello. Can you hop like a bunny? We hop and sing hello, we hop and sing hello, with the friends at story time, we hop and sing hello. Can you run? In place, right with me. Are you ready? Run fast. We run and sing hello, we run and sing hello, with the friends at story time, we run and sing hello. Good job, let's march. We march and sing hello, we march and sing hello, with the friends at story time, we march and sing hello. Hello everybody. Alrighty, for our next song, we're gonna need to wiggle our fingers and wiggle our toes, wiggle our hands, and wiggle our nose. Wiggle just our pinkies and then just our thumbs and then wiggle around. Get those bodies wiggling and then wiggle up on your tiptoes and wiggle down to the ground. I can't go very low but I bet you you can go as low as you can. You can even hit the ground if you want to. Then we're gonna turn around. Are you ready? Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, wiggle your head and wiggle your nose. Wiggle your pinkies, wiggle your thumbs, wiggle and giggle and beat that drum. Come on and let's get busy, wiggling is so much fun. Come on and let's get busy, lots of fun now everyone. are delicious. Who likes apples? I do too. Do you like apple juice? Apple cider? Apple muffins? What kind of apple treats do you like? Mmm, those are so good. 
Alrighty, let's read about apples and pumpkins. When red and yellow leaves are on the trees, we go to the Comstock farm to pick apples and pumpkins. Mr. Comstock gives us a bushel basket to put our apples in. Geese and chickens and a big fat turkey walk with us on our way to the orchard where the apples grow. Let's count the geese. One, two, three. And there's a mama chicken and her three baby chickens and of course, the big fat turkey. My father picks apples. My mother does too. I climb into a little apple tree and pick the reddest apples of all. Who likes eating apples? Me too, apples are delicious. And if you don't like apples, do you like applesauce or apple pie, apple juice? Do you like anything that is made from apples? When our basket is full of red and shiny apples, we go to the field where the pumpkins grow. I look and look until I find the best pumpkin of them all. My father cuts it from the vine. I carry it back to the car and we bring our apples and our pumpkins home. Did you enjoy that story? Apple picking is a lot of fun, but no matter what, apple eating is the best fun of all. Alrighty. I'm going to put on my board five apples. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five. All right, my apples are all different sizes. Can we count again? One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna set my apples aside. Whoops, one of them fell over a little bit. There we go. And we're going to stand up and we're going to pretend we're an apple tree. Are you ready? And in that apple tree, we're going to see five apples. One, two, three, four, five. And they're looking at me while I shake that tree as hard as I could. Can you shake that tree? Get it shaking. And down came an apple and I ate it. Mmm, that's good. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Are you ready? Be the tree. Way up high in the apple tree, I saw five apples looking at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. And down came an apple. Mmm, that was good. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Are you ready? Be a tree again. Way up high in an apple tree, I saw four apples looking at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Shake that tree hard. Down came an apple. Mmm, that was good. Crunch, 
crunch, crunch. Way up high in an apple tree, I saw three apples looking at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came an apple. Mmm, that was good. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Way up high in an apple tree, I saw two apples looking at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came an apple. Mmm, it was good. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Way up high in an apple tree, I saw one apple looking at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came an apple. Mmm, it was good. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Now there's no more apples in the apple tree. Are you ready for another apple story? In this one, Ducking for Apples, by Lynn Berry and illustrated by Hiro Nikata. They write about these five little ducks. They get up one morning and decide to go for a bike ride. And they go over the hill and far away and they find an apple tree. Well, they're a little duck and they can't reach way up in the apple tree. So let's see what ways that they decide might work to be able to get one of those apples down, or maybe even a bunch of apples. And then if they do get apples, what are they gonna do with them? Ducking for apples. Blue sky, sunshine, head outside. Let's ride bikes. Five ducks decide. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five ducks. Training wheels, the first two say. Three little ducklings shout, no way. Five bold ducks on ten thin wheels wobble, bobble, squeak, and squeal. Let's count the ten thin wheels. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you count ten thin wheels with me? They wobble and they bobble and they squeak and they squeal. One duck teeters, two ducks swerve, three ducks totter, four ducks curve. Five little ducks now ride full steam. Can't catch us, we're the great duck team. Five ducks slowing, climb a hill. Huff, puff, huff, puff, huff, until... Five ducks reaching for the sky, soar downhill as the wind whips by. Is it fun to roll down a hill fast? Whee! Windswept ducklings coast to a stop at a rock by a tree with a snack on top. What kind of snack is on top of this tree? What do you see? Did you say apples? Mmm. Yippee apples, two ducks call. Stack up, stack up, five ducks tall. How are the little ducks going to reach the apples in the apple tree?
Let's turn the page and find out. One little duck at the top of the stack reaches tiptoe for the snack. One little duckling still so high picks up more apples for a pie and picks more apples for a cake. But eight skinny duck legs start to quake. Oh no, what's gonna happen with these little ducks? Hurry, hurry, four ducks shout. Too late, duck legs all give out. What happened to the ducks? Did they fall down? They sure did. Duck stack crumbles, apples tumble. I'm still hungry for ducks grumble. One little duck says, scoot around, gather apples from the ground. Are there lots of apples on the ground? Can they take those home? I think so too. Duck scoop apples, oops, some spill. Ducks walk bikes back up the hill. Ducks sip homeward, coast and break. Tramp inside and start to bake. Three little ducks cut fruit in slices, mix with sugar, toss with spices. Two little ducks press sticky dough down in the dish where the fruit will go. What do you think the ducks are making? Let's see. Did you guess pie? Mmm, apple pie is delicious. Ducklings bake their apple treat. Top with whipped cream, eat, ducks eat. Do you like apple pie? How about apple juice or apple sauce? Anything made with apples? I sure like apples. Five ducks lick, five sticky beaks, sticky fingers, sticky cheeks, all f and full of pie and full of cream, ducks drift off to a sweet duck dream. Did you enjoy that story? Those ducks were pretty clever. And by the time they got all those apples home and made all that delicious food using those apples, boy, were they tired. Alrighty, go ahead and stand up. And we're gonna climb up an apple tree. And as we're climbing, all the apples fall on me. I make apple pudding. I make an apple pie. And did you ever taste them fried? Let's see, are you ready? I climb up, I climbed up the apple tree. All the apples fell on me. Apple pudding, apple pie. Did you ever taste apples fried? We'll do that one more time. Are you ready? Climb up that apple tree. I climb up the apple tree. All the apples fell on me. Apple pudding, stir that pot. Apple pie, 
Did you ever taste apples fried? Alrighty, did you stir that pot really good? And did you get that big apple pie? Mmm, delicious apples. Alrighty, at the beginning I told you to get a scarf or a t-shirt or tissue. So go ahead and grab that. Are you ready? We're gonna squish this up and we're gonna pretend it's a jack-in-the-box. And a jack-in-the-box is a box with a little something inside. And when you roll the cord, the handle, all of a sudden the jack-in-the-box pops out. So get your jack-in-the-box in your hand. Jack-in-the-box sits so still. Will he come out? Yes, he will! All right, put Jack back. Are you ready? And say it with me if you remember it. If not, just, just keep Jack safe. Jack in the box, sit so still. Will he come out? Yes, he will, yay! Did your Jack come out of the box too? All right, the really nice thing about scarves is you can make them anything you want. So we're gonna turn this scarf into popcorn and we're gonna get it ready to go in the pot and we're gonna pop some popcorn. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Get it in the pot. Is it in there? Nice and tight, ready? Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Alrighty, let's make another pop of popcorn. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Good job. All right, we're gonna take the scarf and we're gonna change it from popcorn into an autumn leaf. Now leaves change colors in the autumn and then they fall right off that tree. What color leaves do you see in the autumn? They were green in the summer and now they're what colors? Good, good job. Did you say yellow and orange and red? and some of them are still a little bit green, and then when they get really, really old and they fall off the tree, they turn brown. Alrighty, get your leaves up in the tree. Autumn leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. Autumn leaves are falling down. I love autumn. Can you sing that with me? Autumn leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. Autumn leaves are falling down. I love autumn. Now all the leaves are on the floor, on the ground I mean, outside. And you can pick those leaves up and throw them in the air. Are you ready? Throw the leaves up in the air, in the air, in the air. Throw the leaves up in the air. I love autumn. All right, let's do both verses together. Autumn leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. Autumn leaves are falling down. I love autumn. Throw the leaves up in the air, in the air, in the air. Throw the leaves up in the air. I love autumn. Alrighty, it's time for me to go. I'll see you next time. And we'll sing our goodbye song before we end. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. We clap our hands and stomp our feet. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. We turn around and hit the ground. It's time to say goodbye. Bye till next time.